Welcome back everyone to Lemus Creations DIY. My name is Tammy and you're watching my winter edition. In today's craft we're going to make a colorful snowball wreath. Let's start crafting. So to start out with we're going to be using different types of materials and colors and fabrics and uh, some are fleece and some are fuzzy and the mop head pieces all kinds of different fabrics in beiges and blues and whites and also two inch styrofoam balls i got that entire bag for 25 cents now what we're going to do is take those individual pieces of fabric and we're going to glue it onto the styrofoam ball what i did is i started on a corner wrapped it up glued it down and then taking each other corner i would glue and wrap and glue and wrap and cut off any extra material that I didn't need and I continued doing it until the entire ball was covered. <laughs> Use your finger protectors, glue comes through. Another way I figured out to do it is I cut, I think those are uh, inch and a half or two inch pieces of fabric. I would put some glue on, stick it on the ball and then glue down the edge of the fabric roll it up the ball, press down the edges, and then glue on the end. And then I would take the leftover piece and I would glue that the other way to hide the spots. <clears throat> Excuse me. I figured out if you cut it out like three or three and a half inch pieces, it'll cover the entire ball. Now I'm gonna show you how I put on the mop head pieces. So I just put some glue down, lay the mop head piece down, wrap it around, add some extra glue, glue down the end and then I would just continue going glue down the mop head end wrap it around and add glue here and there as I needed because as you get closer to the bottom of the styrofoam ball the mop head pieces don't want to stay so you add a little glue here and there just to help it stay into place and I continue going around and around and around and around and around until I get down to the end and I just add in a bunch of glue, wrap around the mop head. And for this one, I was short just a little tiny piece. So I cut off a little tiny piece and stuffed it in there. And these are all the balls that I made. All the different colors, blues, grays, whites, creams. I have this uh, wreath, I believe it's 12 inches, and I took it outside and coated it with some fake snow. Now what I'm going to do is taking the balls, I'm going to hot glue them onto the wreath and then as it touches the other ball I hot glue it to the other ball and I have no pattern I'm just picking out a ball just making sure I'm not putting two the same beside each other and I just keep on going then for the second row I just take a ball glue it to the wreath and then I also glue it to the points where it's touching any other ball and I continue going around and around until I finish on the inside of this wreath as well. And like I said, no rhyme or reason. I'm just picking colors as I go and trying to be sure that I'm not sticking the same one side by side. <laughs> now for the third row, I am just going to start filling in the spots. And again, just picking whatever ball and adding them into places. And I basically cover up the entire top between the two rows of balls, looking like this. And I used 32 styrofoam balls and had one extra. Now to make a bow. I lost the footage of where I wrapped it all, but I took these two ribbons from the dollar store, made one loops for there, and then I have two for there, the white one. And then I made some tails, cut slits in the center, I'm going to take a pipe cleaner, or people call them Chanel stems, slide it through those little slits we made, tighten it, and then twist it as much as you can onto itself. And then what I did is I cut off these little pieces, which I should not have done because I needed those pieces. Then we fluff our bow, move the tails down, fluff all the loops every good bow needs a good fluffing 
moving those loops aside, fluffing them out. And I continue fluffing and fluffing and fluffing. Fluff, fluff, fluff. And it's one of those bows that you just you just continue going and going until you're ha you're happy with it. Dovetail the ends of the tails. That just means cutting, folding it in half and cutting from the outside in. Then I have this silver ribbon. I'm going to wrap it around the center and tie it in a knot. And this is where I remembered, oh, I need a pipe cleaner there to attach it to my wreath. So I stuck a little piece in there and tied it in. Now we're going to take that pipe cleaner, turn the wreath around, feed it through some of the branches there, and twist it onto each other. And again, fluffing the bow, moving the tails where you want them, where you like them, fluffing the bow on the top, moving the loops around, and when you're done with fluffing that bow, once again, this project is complete. I would like to thank everybody for watching. If you could like this video, give it a big thumbs up and don't forget that notification bell. I hope everybody has a happy new year's, which is in a couple days and we'll see you again next time. Bye.